But let's go and pivot to a deck that I have liked in the past. Uh, a deck that I feel like is somewhat tried and true at this point. Um, now with the small updates of Strangle and... Oh no, hold on, sorry. I, I forgot to add the third anger to the board. This is a deck that we were kind of killing it with a couple months ago. The Mono Red Fires deck. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this is always, like, the time to be playing your pet decks and stuff, but it's also the time to uh, know when to pivot off of them. <laughs> I don't think Fire is also a good matchup with Winota. I actually, I actually thought that, uh, that Winota was a bad matchup for Fires. Okay, turn one Strangle. Are there any good Emory decks or the Pioneer? I think that basically all of like the artifact synergistic decks are have been kind of weak um, for a while in Pioneer. Uh, I will say that uh, I did see a recent post about like someone 5-0ing within Soul Artifacts. Still kind of still kind of early to say that that deck is back. Um, yeah, it's just like you, you lose so many of like the good artifact enablers and payoffs com for, compared from modern to Pioneer. So like the and like Emory is also like hard to cast super early and I I, I think that that it is it is kind of asking a lot for um I think we're going after there I, I can feel the hall at some point um I think it, I think it's kind of asking a lot to to want to play a good Emery deck I don't think that there are very many good ones yeah there's also like this super big there's this super copium paradox engine deck that like always rears its ugly head every like few months and it's just the same deck that is so so fragile and is like <laughs> so very easy to disrupt but it says hey it's the guy i got the deck from thanks for at least one basic <laughs> what is copia meme it's just kind of like a twitch term for uh uh how should i put this Mental gymnastics, I guess. Okay, so my opponent's playing the Shredder Phoenix list. I have more, exactly one island. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. To to cope with something can be, you know, mean a few different things, but it usually means you know, performing some degree of mental gymnastics to justify. Uh, yeah, hopefully the discard land, not a discard Phoenix. So Shredder is not going to be super killable here. Ooh, a Fires. I would love to Fires next turn, but I, I'm going to assume that they're playing the list I was playing yesterday and that they don't have basics, so... <coughs> I think with Double Field of Ruin, I'm just going to be on this land destruction plan. Why isn't Glorybringer seeing play in Pioneer? Uh, I mean, I, this is just like... <laughs> I don't know what's happening today. This wasn't like this yesterday, but chat's just like, Spike, this 5-drop that, like, what? When Oda's an iteration of man, it's time for Sarkhan and Glorybringer and just all, all the 5-drops to come back. And the reality is there's tons and tons of 5-drops in Pioneer. It's a really big format. There is, it's it's very heavy competition for to, to, to play a 5-mana spell in this format. And, like, the best 5-mana spells are, like, are not Glorybringer. Like, Goldspan Dragon is a better 5-mana five, five Dragon. Stormbirth Dragon is better against, like, the blue-white deck if you're looking for a sideboard card there. Um, Glorybringer is is good against Mono Green, but, like, you know, it's it, there's a lot of competition for, like, 5-mana Dragons in this format. Iron Blood, thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate you. This Shredder's good, though. Oh, sorry. Got a can of coffee. Okay, let's go. Ignore the shredder still. <laughs> coffee to can. Yes, we've got all these canned coffees from Costco, and they're pretty good. Is no still playable Pioneer? Well, is Cla maybe Claudio is still in the chat and can tell us. I think so, yeah. We just lost to it, actually, and I think it's a fine deck. Okay, Fires, and then I think I put just play Chandra. This can become a 4-5. I can plus and have it survive. 
And I can go Chandra minus plus Strangle plus Cavalier. I guess I can only Cavalier if I draw land or if I plus Chandra for mana. Opinion on Liquid Death Water. Uh, I ain't sponsored by Liquid Death Water is my uh, opinion on it. It's going to be hard for them to trigger Connive, although I guess possible. Talos. I don't know if you, I don't know if it's showing up like this for you, but I have three Talos subscription notifications for two years. Thank you, Talos. Yeah, maybe they can get the Shredder up to five power. Kill my Chandra. <laughs> oh my gosh. And discarding a Phoenix, so they can go land one mana spell, get back two Phoenixes, or a pretty toast. No! Oh no! How did we lose this game? Guess we just <laughs> got shredded, huh? How did we lose? <sighs> yeah, I, was thinking, I guess if we drew a land, if we drew a land, we were still killing them with Cavalier. But we didn't draw a land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we drew a land, we had them too. It's kind of un unfortunate. So can I survive this turn and just try to draw land next turn? Kill both of these? I can try. I can try. They, they, they do get a connive. There's a good chance they can bring their phoenixes back. They have, you know, not eight cards in their hand. <laughs> that being said, uh, land, I, land is a kill with the double cavalier here. Why do you think Strangle might be better than Light? Uh, it's more it's more mana efficient in the early game where you're going to be able to uh, kill Karn for one mana specifically. You're going to be able to kill Shredder for one mana on turn two, which is like something Light the Knight couldn't do. Um, I think that both of those things are really relevant. I don't think I'm going to sideboard in this matchup. Um, and like I think you just want to get like the most damage for your mana investment um, in this deck early, and just and you have the much stronger late game. Like, Light of the Night plus Goggles was pretty cool, and, like, you know, the reality was that I, I don't think that Fiery Impulse or um, Play With Fire or really any of the other, like, one-mana shocks, like, like none of them really did, did three damage in this deck, so I thought Light of the Night was better before, but Strangle's a pretty big upgrade here. Bring in Anger. I don't love Anger since... Like, usually they're not bringing back phoenixes to, like, pretty late. Um, and I think by the time they're bringing back phoenixes, you're just kind of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And then anger can oftentimes be, like, too slow against their time warp combo. It can be, like, too reactive against the, the deck that just has their engine online. It very, very rarely will kill a shredder. Real burn, think of 16 months. Appreciate you. Where, like, strangle will kill shredder on turn two, which is really important. Damping. Uh, so I, uh, this is again every single time we play any match with the Karn the Great Crater deck. Chat wants me to board in the Karn the Great Crater targets, but I'm going to tutor for them with Karn. Real burn through the 16 months. Appreciate you. So I have to a traditional gen style deck and pioneer. The problem is like your mana is pretty bad. It's like a lot worse than red black and Golgari or Orzhov or mono black. And like the payoffs just not really there. Been trying Terror of the Peaks over Golos gives you a kind of combo kill. Well, you already have a combo kill with Cavalier, so I don't I don't know that that that's necessarily something I'm that interested in, but maybe. Okay, let's keep this. Love to draw a Wildfire. <coughs> Is Legend Shredder the best two drop creature in all Magic? Non EDH constructed formats. I mean, it's also great in EDH. Um, <laughs> it's probably it's probably the best creature in EDH, the best two mana creature in EDH. Um, I don't know. Shredder's pretty nuts. I'm trying to think. I would rate it higher than Tarmogoyf in Modern, higher than Stabcaster Mage in Modern, higher than Young Pyromancer, Dark Confidant, Stoneforge Mystic. Um, yeah, maybe. All right, I think I'm gonna strangle this. Hope to draw land for next turn. If not, we have the fable, of course. But hard to let them on top with this. 
Thalia? Yeah, you can make an argument for Thalia. Oh, uh, the, no, the best two-mana creature at all time is uh, Goblin Recruiter, right? Brandon Restricted and Vintage. Brandon Legacy. Two mana, one one. Enter your battlefield. Search your library for any number of goblin cards. Put them on top of your library in your order. Yeah, Hermit. Yeah, Hermit Druid is also like a really good, really good choice. Yeah, probably Hermit Druid. Okay, I think I'm playing Chandra. Yeah, her, yeah, Hermit Druid or or like both both those are like banned in Legacy. Good good reach good re reason. Yeah, Dreadhorde are kind of better in Legacy, but Shredder better in like every other format. Uh, Frost Magic, thank you for the gifted subs. Nice of you. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like it's kind of a wash, right? I I would say Shredder's probably better overall. Where Shredder's like way better in Pioneer, Modern, uh, probably Standard, EDH, but Arcanist better in Legacy at least. Yeah, there's also Jade Avenger. Oh yeah, Thassa's Oracle is also... That card's pretty nuts. Stoneforge? I don't know. Stoneforge is fine, but I think Shredder's better. Frost Magic, gifting us up. Thank you, thank you. Okay, upkeep. Galvanic... Upkeep Galvanic Iteration. They're just gonna cast, like, Isn't Charm. Deck Tech for real power. Naya, enter the possibility. Hmm. Galvanic Iteration Aethergast, gross. I think I need to draw that fire, so I think I'm going to go Karn, um, Graftigger's Cage. Yeah, I think you want four Possibility Storm. I think I will say my first impression is that this deck is pretty cool. Um, I kind of think the card that really sticks out to me is Skyclave Apparition, where the double white seems to be pretty awkward, and I'm not even sure that Skyclave Apparition is, like, that good in, uh, Pioneer either. I feel like I'd be kind of interested just cutting all the copies of Skyclave and playing four copies of Bone Crusher Giant. I'm like, oh, they're, they're already up there, okay. All right, then, in, in that case, then, like, maxing out on the Mana Elves, the Fables, and the Possibility Storm. Oh, no, I misordered the freaking top cards, dang it. Okay, in that case, probably Damping Sphere is pretty good against them. I could also go Field of Ruin Crucible and start Field of Ruining them every turn. I think when that when I've got them caged, that's probably fine. Yeah, sorry. I thought I thought that I, they had the gust in the opposite order. Yeah, I think my initial... I, I like the list. I think you've got, a, like, a good first draft here. I would really like to see, though, um, full four elves, four four fable, full four possibility storm, no skyclaves. Oh, negate. Um, it's gonna be fine, I guess. Cyborg looks fine. I like having more linear cyborg here. I, yeah, I don't think there's, like, I have too many, like, immediate recommendations for changes. Okay, they found a cruise in a strategic planning. This looks really cool. A bit ago, I was interested in light up night and Chandra Fire Artist, and it wasn't clear to me if it was worse. Chandra Torch of Defiance or some games had crazy reach back up on suite. Yeah, be, we've talked about it a little bit on the stream, too. It's an interesting, uh, interesting tech for sure. Okay, now I've also shuffled the fires away. So I guess we go Chandra, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. And then do I, I guess I'll play the Awakening as a land. I can also discard it to Fable. I have a lot of mana. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll probably just discard it to Fable actually. 
why the choice of going strangle to Lead Knight? But like killing Shredder two two is like kind of the biggest reason. Killing Karn for one mana is the big reason too. Um, I, I like Lead the Knight too, but I think I think that like, like the presence of Shredder and the presence of more three toughest creatures in the format in general, um, has made me pretty interested in Strangle. It kills uh the the black three three two for one mana. Let's Galvanic Iterationing. No, but they can't flashback iteration. Hey Tashi, how's it going? The Shredder fit into the Uro category. It's just the best effect for the mana cost ever printed. And is it good not due to itself being a, like looting too good of an enabler? I, I don't know. Like so, like usually, like I don't love to compare cards like Uro to cards like Ledger Shredder and Ragavan. Where like yes, Ledger Shredder and Ragavan are kind of like best in slot mana value. But what was so annoying about cards like like Ur Uro specifically was that that was the fact that it just it never went away. Like, the, as soon as one Uro was cast, the rest of the game was about that Uro. And it, you either, like, three, had to three for one yourself by exiling it, or you had to, like, play, like, really weird cards like Narset and Remand as, like, kind of a few, like, fair answers that lined up well to it. It's just, like, like the the, or, like the the fact that, like, Uro was so recursive is, like, what's, what's so frustrating about that card specifically. And, like, I think that Shredder... Um, Shredder just being like a, a still a two mana creature dies to all these removal spells. I think it's I think it's pretty well designed. I like the card a lot. It de I don't know. <laughs> they should delete Mill and Tron from the game. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I can co-sign that one. So this is their last extra turn for now. Yeah, not super surprised to see a hard cast Phoenix this turn though. So I can kill both my Planeswalkers. That double gust turn was so brutal. So you're gonna hit me for six, then kill Karn. They can't cast another Delve spell, I guess. Small saving grace. Let's discard both of these three drops. Hmm. See if I get to attack with this goblin token or not. I do. So Golos here is better against um is better against Aether Gust. Which I feel like there's a really good chance they have, especially if they're tanking so long here. Negate, okay. Alright, then I, I probably just have to try to race with this Cavalier. How would Uro have been changed since time was less broken? Well, like, like one thing is it, it probably should have been like a 4-4 four, four instead of a 6-6. Six, six. It probably should have been like a 4-4 four, four instead of a 6-6. Six, six, and then it probably, like, like I, it just probably should have either not gained life or not put a land into play. Um... Okay, I have to keep this, I think... Uh, probably putting back Golos. Yeah, yeah, if it worked like Unearth, yeah. Unearth, but you don't sacrifice it end of turn. So Eternalize, yeah, kind of similar to that. Um, and like maybe that's why they didn't want to have the mechanic work like that, because there's already a lot of cards in like that design space, but. Okay, chart a course. <laughs> You're good, ambitious, GG. Discard Sokazan. I think I just play that to try to guarantee the fourth land. Is Grease Fang's position any better now that Winota and Iteration are gone? Well, I mean, just like any deck that already was pretty reasonable and didn't get nerfed by any bannings. Yeah, yeah probably. Okay, brutal. Hopefully they just discard a land. Nope. Dude, Treasure's so freaking good. Okay, hopefully they're playing my list though and only have one island, just like our ambitious friend. <laughs> Be some justice. Cool. That's what that's one thing I love about this deck is these these turns. Has Goose Fang had any good results? I think it's top 8 in some challenges. Maybe I'm misremembering. But, like, it it's, felt like a pretty reasonable deck. And, 
you know, didn't get didn't get nerfed. For Nurana, two basics is best now. Well, I mean, you really only have this issue against specifically this mono red fires deck, which is you know kind of still like a somewhat wacky brew of mine. Um, but if you're if you're worried about it, then yeah. Okay, so can't fires because the connive, but I can hopefully Chandra minus here. I feel like Grease Fang gets more love than results. Sure, sure, sure. But I, I also think the deck is certainly reasonable. Why did they not ban Treasure Cruise? Why did they not ban Treasure Cruise? I... I... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this... Why was it iteration of that Cruise? Yeah, I just yeah, I, I I just hate the identity part of the argument. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So I think I play Fires, Den of the Bugbear, plus Chandra, and if I miss on the Chandra Plus, I'll go Karn for God Pharaoh statue. Wait, where's the card? Oh, it's just a mountain, okay. So hopefully I get to keep one of my Planeswalkers for next turn. The God Pharaoh statue is also phenomenally good against them, but also, you know, the Shredder. We lost to just, like, a giant Shredder last match, too. <laughs> Morning, Master Mike. Any opinions on which Pioneer deck to build on paper that shares a lot of overlap with Modern deck? Um, <laughs> Blue-red decks with Shredder is, I guess, my recommendation. Playing Strangle, okay. Okay, so play Cataracts, Statue. This bird is definitely going to be tough, but... Could potentially race it. I guess if they have a one-mana removal spell, I'll... I'll I, got, I mean, they're, they're never getting their Phoenixes back, or not for a little while. Um... Okay, those are pretty bad draws. I think I think I still have to fire into the den, despite getting hit by a one-man removal spell. They showed us they're playing Strangle, so they should have less instant speed removal here. Exodos of the nine months, thank you, thank you. And we're currently ahead on this race. We have field for the hall. More mana denial too. Do you think iteration banning needed a banning of Phoenix deck didn't exist? Well, there was there was like a lot of really good blue red decks. It was Phoenix Control Prowess and like some random other like Delver variants too were like like somewhat very viable. And so it's like like I thought I, I I absolutely thought the combination of iteration plus cruise and dig was too much. Um, but just like I think like leaving leaving uh like the the delve spells were like way more of a problem <laughs> in my opinion. And a lot of people will go, like, Spike, why would you ban the Cruise and Dig if Cruise is in play? It's just like every Cruise deck just plays Dig instead. Okay. Um, they hit a Cruise, Iteration, Strangle. Seeing three cards select two is arguably better than random three. Uh, random three is always better than than three cards select two. It, you just, you, <laughs> it's always better. Um, I think I'm going to Karn plus on the God Pharaoh statue. I had a rough go with the Gogari deck. I think I had some misevaluations of the format that had me misbuild it a little bit. Put them to one here. I don't think I should fable and let them trigger a connive. Always better. Yeah, yeah. I, I, wait, I, I don't. I, I don't know if I'm getting trolled here. I guess I am. Draw three is an always is always a better effect than look at the top three pick two. It's always. It, I guess not into a nar set, but. Uh, not if you have uh, three cards in your library, but it's it's almost always better. 
And it's like very often for one mana instead of two as well. I think with the God Pharaoh statue in play, it's going to be really hard to die this turn. Although, like, they can over delve to pay for the God Pharaoh statue. And, like, but they could they could maybe take, like, one extra turn here. Caucus to go to six months. Appreciate you. New to Pioneer, I follow Modern a lot. What are the main archetypes of the format? Well, we just had a big banning of one of the, the major archetypes. And so what seems to be emerging as, like, top contenders for Pioneer is going to be, like, Blue Red Phoenix, Mono Green Devotion, um, probably Mono Red Aggro, although we haven't seen much of it yet. Lotus Field Combo is a deck that I uh, hate and this <laughs> I'm pretty scared of. Um, Niv Mizzet's likely going to be good. Blue White Control's likely going to be good. Some black-based... Uh, Mid-range deck, sacrifice decks, are, I think, are the uh, the contenders. Okay, Temporal Trespass, extra turn. I'm at 14 life, though. Um, they also... They messed up, right? They should have spent mana instead of delving the two extra cards. I don't know why they... If they weren't going to use the two mana, they should have spent it on the Trespass. Why don't we see more rip in the format? Um, yeah, yeah, Rusted Piece is a really good card. Um... You know, one thing it's like the, the the big issue is like outside of blue white control, there aren't that many white decks. Is like the big reason there's very few rips. Um, uh, that being said, I, I've kind of felt like for a while that there is some design space or some format space for like a taxes deck that plays Thalia and Archon. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if there's enough room, but I think that I think that there is probably an okay taxes variant that is uh, underexplored. Yeah, the Lotus Field uh, Hidden Strings deck is still legal, despite me whining every single stream about it. <laughs> Do you have a lot hot deck for Red Black matchup with Shredder deck? Being a hose a lot lately. I mean, the issue is they have so much graveyard hate, right? And I think you just have to try to play through it. I don't know. If, I don't know. Like, like they have they have like it's mostly creature based graveyard hate, so you could try to kill with like Lightning Axe, Kalidus, and Trespasser. Master with the twenty eight months. Appreciate you. Okay, up a game against Phoenix this time. I think I'm still just resubmitting. But maybe maybe that one shatter was right and I should. Maybe I should play like two angers. <laughs> yeah, I think Archon of Emery is like maybe even main deckable. I was kind of looking at um I don't know, Orzov Orzov midrange continues to be like something I'm kind of interested in, where like you get to play Vanishing Verse and um it's way vanishing verse and oh uh, the wandering emperor which are both pretty interesting cards and so i was also thinking maybe just main deck archon of Amaria. like i think i think that this card like it's got three toughness slows in a lot of decks um you can also just cite it out and if you feel like it's bad kind of sad we are priced out yeah it's, it's tough to play rending volley in the karn deck but it would be nice no three mana Kaya. There's just like not that many one mana permanents outside of the mana elves. I don't know. Like one mana Kaya is either like like the best card of the format or unplayable, <laughs> usually. I right, would love for this to uh, resolve. Looks like they have an answer for it, but they're thinking if they want to use it. Is it possible to have a link to the black white deck? Um, I usually wait if I'm like. Like for that for that deck, I don't I don't know if I'm ready to post it. Uh, I, I I think I'm gonna be making some more changes, and so I I, don't, I usually like to wait to post until I have lists more hammered out than that one. Yeah yeah yeah. There's an MTGO anniversary all access pass. I forgot about that. I saw a link. I don't know all the details, but if you're look, <laughs> I uh, actually I actually I had to buy Graveyard Trespassers uh, for like forty bucks this morning. So I and the the pass wasn't live, but I wish it was live. Yeah, it went up this morning, I think. It wasn't it wasn't up when I was trying to buy trespassers, I think though. <laughs> Which is a bit unfortunate. Uh they paused really long on um on that cleansing wildfire. So I, I think I'm just gonna actually jam Chandra as like the bait for a negate or Aethergust. Obviously Aethergust would be the same as the fires, but Okay, and then I don't know if I really want this Chandra. I think I'm gonna bottom it. 
I can go like Fire's Golos or Fire's Fable. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Narset. Okay, Narset's good against Fable. This is the answer, Masterpiece of the Deck. Well, that's half the price of a deck deck, but I can... I to <laughs> take a look and regret it. <laughs> okay, we found a Strangle. Found a Strangle. They revealed Charter Course. I think that I am supposed to go loose and get Field of Ruin. Because we know they only have one basic. And I can attack this next turn, I can strangle it. We'll be okay. They can get another activation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think for 500 bits, I'll look at this deck and uh, at this abomination and, and just nod and. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> think, is a control still playable with that duration? Yeah, I, I, yes, of course. <laughs> I, I think finding the best build is going to be tough, and it maybe maybe falls by the wayside to a different blue red deck. But yes, it will be playable. Okay, dead Golos. Hopefully, they discard a land, but they're basically never discarding land here. Yeah, will be two frost. Oh, what a great top deck. And then, if I play this Fable, I can't discard, um, I can't, um, I can't discard into the Narset, but I can maybe just attack it, that's, it's obviously either that or just strangle the Narset. I think I'll play the Fable. <coughs> Okay, no red mana for my opponent. Now also every field of ruin wildfire is a stone rain. I should know better by now. I bind to Phoenix. Faithless can span. I bind to Phoenix part two. Iteration can span. For whatever it's worth, Phoenix is probably still going to be a, a great deck in in, uh, in in Pioneer. I I, I was playing it all yesterday. It I think it's still great. You still have <laughs> you still have a lot of really good card draw spells. I was gonna ask why you feel when they play Hall. Or did, I guess you, you saw me, you saw me kill their lands, right? Oh boy, that's game over. Game over. I guess I could have plus Chandra first, but I'm just too excited to put Godfair statue into play. Yeah, you just, we know they play one basic, so I got to kill one of their lands. And cut them off red. Yeah, yeah, Piece of the Puzzle is very stock in Phoenix. You use Piece of the Puzzle to fill up your graveyard with Phoenixes and fuel your fuel, fuel your Delve spells. It's really good. The format the format is slow enough that you can afford to play like a Divination style effect, but it's way more powerful than Divination. It's, it's a great uh, setup card. Yeah, yeah, Myth Mythic Token is really good value. If you're looking to start playing some Magic online, Mythic Token will give you access to every card on the client for a little bit of time. It can give you some good ideas on what you may want to buy into. Or, you know, not buy into. <laughs> Four mana, Shimmer of Possibility. Oh, that's game. Super game, actually. So here's a little combo that is uh, important to know in the deck. You play Cavalier, you get haste, you use uh, Reflection to copy your Cavalier. You're going to want to discard as many lands as you can. Um, and then you get to deal, you know, millions and millions and millions of damage. 25 Ooh. bucks for three weeks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, we can keep this. It was always available to Magic when it be a trading game. Yeah, but it's also like... 
people care a lot less about trading the online cards and the paper cards. In fact, I kind of don't know anybody that really cares about... <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I'm sure there's some people that have, like care about their Magic Online collection, but for the most part, people mostly care about trading the IRL cards. Cool to see the Mono Red Aggro deck. It's one that I was kind of expecting to be more popular, but I haven't really been playing against it much. Two Bone Crusher Giants, so thankfully they're only getting a one for one here. Yeah, so yeah, expect maybe a lot more four-color Yorion uh, in the queues. So at 17, they've got four cards in their hand. They're losing a Bone Crusher Giant. I think they're thinking about casting another Light at the Stage. No, they're complaining a skewer the critics instead, putting me down to 14, three cards in their hand. Uh, let's go ahead and discard, I think, Cascading Cataracts, and then probably also the field. Although the field is an answer to Din. Maybe I'd rather have that than the Blast Zone, but they play so many one drops that I think I want to keep Blast Zone. And I love, love, love to find a Fires of Invention. Definitely like one of the best draws we could have here. Um I think I'm getting Sky Sovereign, although Ring of Three Wishes is also looking kind of juicy with the fires. Ring might be a little slow. Yeah, let's, let's get the Sky Sovereign. <laughs> yeah, I, I have played Sploon's Tower Defense back in, <laughs> in school. <laughs> Was the Moto changing developers? I think that already happened. I think that already happened. I don't know. Is Lotus Fruit as bad as everyone says on Twitter? I've been running over everything except Mono Green so far. Yeah, here's here's the thing. Every I I personally evaluate evaluate Lotus Field as being an incredibly good deck in the hands of uh, like proficient players. I think that I think in the hands of like proficient players, Lotus Field is like a terrifying force to be reckoned with. Uh, it does seem like the prevailing opinion on Twitter is that Lotus Field is unplayable uh, and uh, people are, you know, whiny. And uh, I, I imagine that the truth resides somewhere in between. Um, that being said... That being said... Um, what's more important than finding the truth is uh, dunking on people. So hopefully we can... Uh, Get some sweet dunks. I'm gonna, I think I'm just going to bring up three wishes and then kill my opponent next turn. Is there any way I can die? Like, no, no, basically no way with the blast zone. The deck is good as awful matchups. I don't know. People always say that, but I feel like with Besage you, like, you can just beat anything. And, like, against, against like, Mono Green, too, like, if they don't have Karn, like, you can never lose. If they have fast Karn, you basically can never win, but it's just, like... I guess you could still win with Besage you, but I don't know. At, at the very least, I think that the 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 attitude of um yeah, this is fine. We'll just take the hit and win next turn. I'm assuming I'm assuming we're winning with Cavalier. I'm gonna bring up wishes for Cavalier. Um. Yeah, yeah, this is a win. Um. At the very least, the deck has some like very powerful nut draws that are super hard to interact with, super hard to deal with, and the powerful uh, in the hands of a powerful pilot is like much scarier than uh, not in the hands of a powerful pilot. Nice 20 life opponent. Why is Karn so good against Lotus Field? Because you can game one tutor for Damping Sphere uh, and or God Pharaoh statue. <coughs> it's gonna bring a three anger, I think cutting one Golos, two Fable. Didn't need to give it haste. 
Well, I just pumped it, right? Oh, I didn't need to. Oh, I didn't need to give the uh, the token haste. Sorry, I forgot. I'd already untapped with it. You're right. You're right. I missed some damage, huh? Yeah, I, I, I love the out of nowhere kill you with Cavalier Lions. Cool down, thank you for 13 months, appreciate you. Yeah, Fable plus Cavalier is so nutty. Although Fable's not that good at this matchup. So Karn really isn't that good with Besager. Yeah, I mean, Besager's an answer. I mean, Besager just solves so many problems for Lotus Field. Like, I think most of the takes people have about Lotus Field just plays five more cards, five head, you know? play Alpine Damping Sphere, the deck's not an issue. Like, I think that those takes were pretty true before they printed Besaidu, and now they could, now they just can Sylvan Scrying for Besaidu and Odawara game one, and and, and <laughs> against the Karn decks and Cyborg games, and it's, they, they have a lot of answers for your hate cards now. Oh, the Pioneer Abyss, that Panda ever since Band Field, that was <laughs> banned out. <laughs> Does this deck remind you of the Band Field deck? I'm glad, that, I'm glad that you're liking it. I really like it, too. Because it kind of reminds me of that. That's how I feel about Aimo Titan Modern. Yeah, yeah. It's just, like... I, I, I think the gameplay of the Lotus Field combo, like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I've, like... I've, I've, had, I've been playing a ton of Cyborg Hate for the Lotus Field deck, and basically every strategy I've played... And, like, they still kill me on turn throw four through a hate piece, like, a disgusting amount of the time. It's just like, I don't know. How does Alpine Moon help Lotus Field as Hexproof? Alpine Moon doesn't care about Hexproof. It's, it isn't Target. <laughs> Light of the Stage loves to hit two Bone Crusher Giants for them. Okay, um, I could cast Bone Crusher. I think I'm just gonna chill. Obviously, we need to find a land for fires, and then we're going to be off to the races. Third den of the bugbear. I don't think I want to field of ruin. I think I want to save, the, just like activate in response to a den activation. Although, I'd love, love to draw this. Um, I think I'm just going to cast anger so I don't take the damage from the, the bone crusher. Maybe the anger is gonna be better down the line, but this is fine too. I think Ashok is the best hit card against Lotus Field. I absolutely disagree. Like, obviously, it's such off their like their commands. I know their commands. Is it command ultimatums? And then like they have some tutors, right? And someone's crying. But Ashok can be very slow. A lot of times they've already tutored before Ashok comes down for their Lotus Field combo, and then they just card selection until they find Odawara, bounce it, or even just like cast off missions. I think I think they can. I, not that Ashok is bad against them, and like dodging Besaidu is nice, but I, I I think as far as like best answer, I don't think I really agree with that. Um, so I can get. I guess I just get Cascading Cataracts. I can maybe plus Chandra activate this with Droll Land. Revenge of the Seth, I think for the six months. Appreciate you. I braids my Golos. Rough. Into Hazard. Oh man, okay. Hazard's gonna be hard to beat. Obviously, you have some great draws like Cavalier, Karn, but. <laughs> Cascading Cataracts. Well. I think I'd leave these to like loot away. I mean, obviously, not not gonna really want to cast either of them here. Fallen simple man. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate you. No, Bloodstone does not prevent Odawara besides you. Oh, I guess I should have stomped first. I yeah, sorry, I should have. It was free. Okay, new hand, new me, new life. I think I just target myself here, then a little bit. Okay, we're gonna need to draw <laughs> Cavalier soon. 
Or just win game three. Gonna be able to play for game three. Um, now this they put me to, yeah, I'm just done to ramming up activation and the hazard activation. I don't have outs. Like maybe if I drew like cavalier into something, yeah, I can't current for anything though. No, I don't think I could cavalier to lethal because I can't give the cavalier haste without fable. Okay, hopefully things go a bit smoother on the play. Hazard is a really scary card to face as the mono red deck. I wonder how many hazards they play, and if they're like mainboard sideboard. Um, hand's not great, but we have a Valakit to stop a mana flood. We have a Bone Crusher Giant, which is pretty good in the matchup. I think I'll keep. Have field for an opposing den. Put a moles to six. Very, very good against my stomp. It's like annoyingly good against my stomp, damn it. The enchanter is good in Pioneer, does it lack a good enough shell? Uh, Auras is a somewhat underplayed deck in Pioneer. It is sort of like the natural predator of. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna cast Bone Crusher Giant next turn. It's it, uh, it is like always been like the natural predator of um, the mono green matchup, and then they banned Luris and all the uh, Auras players quit. But it, it is a reasonable deck. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna uh, do this for the Shadow Spear with Karn. Yeah, although I'm probably getting Sky Sovereign first. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, I, we obviously really want them to miss their land this turn. Rip. Oh, yeah, with Karn, we can kill Hazard with Shadow Spear. Good point. Opponent's going to play with Fire targeting me. Then hopefully they don't skewer my Bone Crusher. Was the deck survive the bands? Laughably, yes. I, I, played, I played a bunch of Izzy Phoenix yesterday. Deck felt great. Played against it a lot today. Deck felt great. Um, dang it. Come on, Anger of the Gods, I guess. They have three cards in their hand. Again, tech for six down to nine. I can try to Valakid Awakening and find either Anger and or Strangle. I feel like this card is just kind of not doing it here. If I find Anger or Strangle... Oh my gosh, I did! I missed the... I misclicked on the freaking Cataracts. Dang it. Magic Online does this so often when you're casting Valakid Awakening. Uh, you like you will click on a card and it just won't register. And you have to be like super careful to make sure everything cl every click happened. So annoying. We need my opponent to have nothing, and they kept a one lander, so they definitely have something. <laughs> or they most likely have something. I don't know, maybe it's all four drops. Okay, play another one drop into the blast zone. Such a winnable game. <laughs> Do I attack here? I don't know that they really have any haste creatures. I guess they have Hazoret. Yeah, they have Hazoret. But I don't know that I'm ever beating Hazoret. Can we sideboard a copy of uh, Radiant Fountain? Maybe. It kind of depends on how popular Mono Red is, right? Ugh, it's a hard card to lose to. No way is making you watch anything. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put back the Chandra. I think it's heroic. Okay. Pretty unlikely my Bone Crusher can kill that. Play draw would have mattered a lot here. Target spell you control connives. Interesting. Well, they don't control this spell.
Pretty lucky to get to strangle the favorite Hoplite too. Oh, you know what? Oh, getting some lag here. Oh, it's tough because I, I want to field ruin them and then strangle, but if they just have any like one mana spell, we get blown out so much. But I'm curious. I don't know how many basics they play either. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go Fires, Bone Crusher Giant, so I have a blocker. They have two cards in their hand. The stream decker down, it's it's always down. Usually zero basics, man, that's tough. Wish I'd known that. Sorry, I was selling the graveyard trespassers <laughs> that I bought this morning. And we're dead. Rough. Okay. Okay, I'll keep the zero. I should I should have looked in the list. That was on me. Okay, I'm gonna bring in the anger of the gods. I think I'm cutting two fables and a golos, like I usually do when I bring in anger. Click submit. Stringers down. Can we get a deckless spec on goldfish? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the ass to to do. I've also like you know, I've also posted this list in a bunch of the past. There's a there's a list up on channel fireball. That's a few cards different. Okay, let's keep this. Now that we know they're on zero basics, feeling a bit better against about this field of ruin hand. I feel like red white heroics underplayed. Yeah, I think so too. I'm I'm kind of trying to like work on a budget heroic decklist for channel fireball. Although this week, um, this week I'm updating our guides on like burn and living end. Not super exciting, but uh, work needs to be done. I think village rides could work in modern black red stack. So I was talking about a little bit about that's a good question. So like the thing about village rides is like red black sack is sack is already a deck that is like really good at um like outgrinding your opponent and it's really good at generating a lot of value over the course of the game. And it is like actually kind of a bad deck at like converting raw cards into any kind of like meaningful advantage, if that makes sense. Like, it's kind of it's kind of tough to have like um, like you like you you when you village rights it's not like you're drawing into like fatal push lightning bolt counter spell cards that can you know one for one your opponent in a meaningful way and catch you back up. Uh, I feel like I just want to field the room them again. I don't I don't think I want to go fires into Chandra minus and just get blown up by a removal spell here. I think I want to be able to go Fires, Golos, Chump Block, Blast Zone on one. Or, or maybe get Field of Ruin. Yeah, so I think with this in hand, this is going to give me a lot of Chump Blockers for the Swift Spear. I'm going to be... I think it's good to just get the fourth field or third Field of Ruin here. Mike of the 11 months, appreciate you. Meathook catches the back up. Well, we're talking about modern. Meathook is, like, really slow for modern. Um, in, in Pioneer, I do think that these kind of effects are, like, way more reasonable. <laughs> Block concede. When do you bring in Karn for Treasure Vault? You Karn for Treasure Vault when you need a land. <laughs> it's, it's not really that deep. Just when you need a land. And... You'll be pretty happy you have it when you need a land. Um, close hand, get a mulligan. I guess maybe not that close, I just had a wildfire. I feel like on the draw, this hand loses to heroic every time on the draw. I'm gonna mulligan to five. This hand's way better. Let's put back Golos for sure, and then probably Karn. Although it's, it's maybe closer than that. Hoping to draw some wildfires, Field of Ruins. Well, I guess I should have put back fires, huh? Okay, so this says is now unkillable by my, my, my by my Bone Crusher Giant. It's unfortunate. Flashing back. Thankfully, uh, thankfully, flashing back on the new Swift Spear, so I can stomp. Taking three though, down to fourteen. Kind of light on resources. Opponent's got three cards in hand though. 
And now that I have enough mana for fires, like, when you, obviously when you have fires, your, your top decks are usually pretty good. It's like Reckless Rage, maybe. Yeah. Red Cat Melee, sure. I'm at, 11, I'm at 14, they've got two cards. Very big draw step here. Holding this discard to Valakid Awakening or Fabled Mirror Breaker. Could play, could play it to play around enchantment removal too. It's kind of close. Get down to seven. Okay, rewarded for our cast with fires and mention. Rewarded for our holding of the fires. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put back both here. Obviously, you just need to find anything. <laughs> okay. So, we can put our opponent down to just a basic white source in play, and maybe tank a hit. I unfortunately can't play the Chandra now. But next turn I can get my opponent off of mana entirely, potentially, and... Hopefully that's good enough. Oh. Exaxes, so frustrating. <sighs> Santa's fires Karn, it obviously needs to find some lands. You have some removal. I'm gonna try to keep this. Yeah, the Gaida. Hmm. Will I go on the trophy hunt anytime soon? Uh, I don't have current plans to do it anytime soon, but I, I want to do it again at some point. Uh, I know, I know, I know that when I do it again, I want to donate to a charity every single time I trophy. I think that that's going to be exciting. And then, um, but I, I beyond that, I'm not sure. Like, I, I feel like I, I like that idea for it. I think like that idea gives us some like some you know new take on what has become a pretty successful format. Um, but I, I, I'm just kind of I guess I'm waiting for like a good time to do it. Maybe next season will be a good time. And maybe not. Um, and I'm also waiting for, like, again, I guess, like, just kind of one more idea. That's real. Oh, I guess we're going to wildfire this, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm still just kind of waiting for one more idea that is going to, like, make me really hyped to do it. Because I, I, I think I, you know, I want to always be evolving. I always want to be growing. I don't really, I'm not really that interested in just kind of doing the exact same things over and over again. Okay, land would be so good here. Awesome. Um, so I haven't played Abed, Red, Black, Anvil. Uh, I think that like actually, and playing it in Anvil exactly is really tough. Like, there's like, it's very that in, in that version, it's hard to find room for. Okay, they found a Nyx though, so it's bad. Um, I think that AWB is interesting in, like, a non-anvil focused version, but the problem is, like, you just have no good sack outlets because you lose the anvil. I think, I, I don't know, it, it's tough. Um, what are we doing here? Okay, so I think I'm gonna Field of Ruin the Nykthos. Let's do that first. I think. Could get Damping Sphere. I mean, that doesn't seem like a good use of resources when I just have Field of Ruin here. Um, I think I'm supposed to get, I think I'm supposed to get Ring of Three Wishes, but the problem with, I guess it, it's, it's somewhat of a problem that I can't use my mana to activate Ring and Field of Ruin. Grab Golos. I mean, I'm not active, I don't have the mana to activate Golos. I think I have to get Ring. Is all playable anything in modern? I'm like 13 and 3, and like with this like Rakdos sacrifice deck uh, in modern with Ob. Yeah, I know it can just activate ring next turn, but it's like so much better to be able to go activate, activate, play any two spells from my deck, you know? And it's also like kind of awkward against Karn, but I have the strangle to kill Karn. Trevor Project during June would be some consideration. Um, well, I, I need to look at how long the season is for the trophy race, but um, we also, like, we did the Trevor Project last time we did a charity stream, and it is a good charity. 
Um, but you know, I, I think it, I, I would I would I would likely be doing like a mix, and then I I can't imagine Trevor Project isn't one. He's got a good relationship with them, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I, you know, I was listening to the Humans of Magic podcast, and he did like an interview with the Ukrainian Magic players over there, and I think it would be really awesome to like send them a gift. Um, but the logistics of that are probably a nightmare. Oh no. <laughs> This is a, speaking of nightmares, huh? Well, so we can fire in with the den, put Kiora to one, strangle Kiora, cast Bone Crusher. Probably just better to. Stomp, strangle, old growth troll, kill Kior with uh, Den. And they can't quite, they can't do this end of turn, which is nice. I guess it's good for me that they besage you the ring and not the fires, actually. Well, I guess I could have ringed for fires and set up. For a trophy race, what about team-based streamer pro event combined with more casual players? I don't know. I just, I just have never. People always ask me about like doing this, like this really organized. Um, like they, they want the trophy race to be so organized, and they want it to be like a co like me collabing with other streamers, or like, or specifically, usually them asking for me to collab with them. But they, like, they're, they're wanting me, they're, like, they want it to be like. You know, a, a big collab, and like I, I feel like as much as I, you know, like the community, I like you know, like I think that idea sounds like good on paper. I just feel like just like an open invite where anybody can play if they want to is so much better than like having like some kind of organized formal collab. Like yeah, the, like the formal organized collab just does like never made any sense to me to be honest. Uh, what are we doing here? Probably getting memorial to war. Maybe Field of Ruins better. I think I'm leaving the Goblin token back to Chump Block. Although, so they make a 4 4, 9, and then they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 5, let's say 6, 6, 6, 11 plus 4, 11 plus 4, 15, yeah. And also, like, you know. <laughs> It's two Besages in the deck. Fine. Uh, also, I think having, um... Like, having to, like, organize collabs every single day and, like, work with people every day is just kind of exhausting. I don't know. I guess I'm happy they're not killing my fires <laughs> with the Besageu again. Yeah, 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 the trophy is just being open, and, like, whoever, like, whoever's doing well, they get the highlight. I think, like, people, like, being highlighted, like, it's it's awkward, you know, I collab with somebody for the trophy race, and then they, you know, have a, have a rough start to the season, you know, it's just, I just, just, I like how I'm doing it, where if you're doing well, you get, uh, if you're doing well, then, you know, you get some, uh, spotlight, you know, it's open to everybody. Math, uh, four blockers still, as far as I know. As far as I've been told, math is still for blockers. <laughs> and my opponent's not <laughs> fire. They're not even activating Lair of the Hydra to block. <laughs> That's got to be a uh, big old punt. Yeah, they're just dead. Is there a chance a group of bad players across the world would collaborate and play a single counter order to win the trophy race streaming weren't necessary? Uh, there's no way to enforce uh, streaming for the event. I even play a lot of my matches off stream because it's exhausting to be live for uh, all hours of the day. Um, if someone does that and you know they're cheating in this very casual trophy race that's like fun for the community, there's there's no way to stop it. Uh, there's no way to enforce it either. There's also it's also like you know. Not obviously not. This is not something I'm doing, but 
you know, I it, it would be so unreasonable for me to accuse someone else of like account sharing when I also you know don't stream all my matches. You know, it's just got to be honor system. Who would get the trophy in that case? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They have to fight amongst themselves for the trophy. Oh yeah, also I got, and that's also another thing too is like as cool as the physical trophies were last time, shipping to Brazil was like $1500. It was uh, it was unreal. So, um and I like I also can't imagine that a Brazilian grinder would not be uh one of the trophy people again, so so like I would I would feel like I feel like instead of the physical trophies, like having some other prize has got to has got to be what we do. Yeah, important to get Bone Crusher down to pressure Karn. How? Yeah, it was like it was like thirteen hundred dollars up front, and then they called me. It's like, hey, we need two hundred more dollars for a uh, uh, fuck you import fee. Um, I don't really want to give them the extra mana off the Bone Crusher here. Pretty sure I'm just supposed to play the Karn. Got a few different options what we can get as well. But it probably should just be Sky Sovereign, and then we can maybe just get Treasure Vault if we fight Missile Land next turn. Yeah, yeah, I was actually, like, I even, like, considered, um, like, paying a friend to go fly down and, like, deliver it. But then you still have to pay, like, customs and import, blah, blah, blahs. I guess, I guess they're still, if I attacked, well, I, I need to leave this back to block. If they just don't block, it's kind of rough. Yeah, or, or you're like me delivering in person, but it, it's also like really tough for me to like take a week off. Basically never do. <laughs> Is my trophy back there? It's currently downstairs. Uh, do make all the trophy in person recently. It was, it, I need I need to bring it back upstairs, but during my um, housewarming party, I drink out of it. <laughs> I work at a post office. There's no chance it costs fifteen. I went to UPS. Uh, they said that at that that at the post office it was going to be more expensive. They said that it would be like, or sorry, less expensive, like like two or three hundred dollars less expensive. But it was also like, you know, the USPS is like very unreliable. So I wanted to like at least make sure it got there. Uh oh. Okay, I can strangle that forest now, which is pretty nice. Okay, got some options. Sky Sovereign, Kill Forest, Pass. Strangle Forest, Field of Ruin, Nykthos, Pithing Needle, Nyssa. Although then this is still a huge problem just being in play. And I can try to kill this Nyssa next turn with Sky Sovereign. Both the Forest plus on Boat. Mm, I'm still losing this card if they just attack with the Forest and the uh, thing. But maybe it's still I get to eat something in combat's better than carning for anything. I, I do think I need this. I need, I think I should just sky sovereign the forest first. Hope that they don't have that much action left. And then and then I I I'm not sure if I'm supposed to plus obviously or if I'm supposed to grab something. I guess my I have a pretty good turn for next turn, so just plusing and being able to eat something in combat's probably fine. Yeah, that's what everyone was saying. The import laws on Brazil specifically is like just pretty tough. Sphere to shut off Nykthos. Well, I've got Field of Ruin for Nykthos down the line. Would it be more feasible to buy the trophy in the country? Yeah, like th that was something I was kind of considering too. Uh, I, I do think that that is an option. Buy the trophy like in the country. Although it's going to be like harder to... Um, it's going to be hard to do. Uh, like, I, it's hard for me to, like, you know, call Brazil. I don't speak, uh, Portuguese and... Oh, fuck. <laughs> the last card is Storm the Festival. Uh, you know, I don't speak Portuguese and, um... Just kind of tough for me to order a trophy in another country. But that is an option. And then also, like, doing... I think doing cash prizes also has some, like, legal problems, too, from what I, from what I understand. What if we're on the Blue Red Phoenix turn deck? We're just swapping iterations for more Charter Gorse and Razor Charms. I was playing Is It Charm yesterday. Um, I kind of I kind of think I want to go down to three Is It Charms, but the card did feel pretty good. 
Pelucranos Kiora, flash, and they can flash back the storm. Okay, they can also just Pelucranos kill Sky Sovereign. <laughs> can always work with whoever's buying a locally. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But then it's like, you know, all of a sudden you win this trophy prize, then you have to do some work, you have to go buy the trophy yourself. It's kind of a, kind of awkward too. An invitational for everyone to finish with 15 or more trophies. Well, for 15 or more trophies, it would be like, you know, like that's like a 500 person event probably. Or some, but we could do some number, right? I think you have a number of, you, then you have a number of buys, like related to the, like how many trophies you had. There's plenty of people in the community willing that will help. Yeah, 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 I, I understand, I understand. It would be, it would be feasible. It is, uh, it is, it is on the table. Something like that is on the table for sure. I don't think I've seen Pelucranos be this good in Pioneer ever. Awesome, awesome. It's so Punisher Plastic on the Sky Sovereign. <laughs> let's go to game, uh, let's go to game three. Three lands, four, four drops, probably a mulligan. Okay, got a sideboard card. I think I have to put back Bone Crusher. It's kind of close. And then just like be okay not killing an elf on turn one, and maybe I can get two on turn three. What if I got like Channel Fireball to sponsor a portion? I don't know. It's an option. I am not made of money, so <laughs> getting some help would be nice. I consider doing the Trophy Racer Pioneer. Uh, it's maybe. I feel like Modern's more interesting because it's deeper. And like, once I commit to a Trophy Race 2, it's like, that's all I'm playing for this season. Um, it's in Cavalier. No, Cavalier's just too good with fires. No, I think we have to keep the Cavalier. Indestructible Land would be really nice. Okay, I guess I'll strangle the elf. Okay, perfect for me for them to wolf below. I've got the cleansing wildfire. Although I, I need to draw land really desperately off the wildfire here. No such luck. So we need our opponent to be stumbling as much as we are. Another haven. Into an elf. Three cards left in their hand. They've got four mana now. Bummer. Four looks at land, missing all of them. They filled the red black goblin deck I was playing a while ago. I, I always liked that deck. When it grabs a god pharaoh statue, very good choice when I'm uh, mana screwed. A little late to the party. Again, fires in play, like maybe if they don't have another land, but if they don't have another land, I'm also kind of screwed. Yeah, we just need them to be super flooded, and but then they can get something else off the card. Probably dead. I feel like all of our matches so far with this deck have been really close, but... I haven't taken too many L's. I guess let's pivot over to Anvil after this. Although, what, I guess we'll see what they get off this, the Karn. I feel like this wasn't close. I mean, this match was close. Like, we won game one, and then... Like, this this specific game isn't close, but this... Like, last game was close, right? Maybe it wasn't that close. I don't know, the last card wasn't Storm the Festival. <laughs> okay. The, the match against Mono Red was very, very close. 